Let's break it down a little bit for the beginners first. Some people not, might not know what DWC is or also R DWC. Can you explain what both of those things are? Well, um, DWC or you know, deep water culture, more or less a form of hydroponics, similar to like, I don't know if you're, you're I know you're familiar with the Kraki method. Uh, you know, simple thing is like having a jar and, you know, roots are hanging into the water and it kind of depletes the nutrients as it grows. Um, a deep water culture is more passive, uh, or le less passive, uh, for that same reason. It, it requires that you, you implicate oxygen so you can add, uh, add to the roots for that same reason. And, you know, that's kind of the difference between overwatering your plants and underwatering them. And it's definitely capable of doing so in, within a deep water culture as well. Um, in a nutshell, the plant is suspended in a neutral, like, medium uh, with its roots mostly hanging out in the container uh, to take the nutrient water up. And at the same time, we have, like I mentioned, some oxygen um, being aerated up from the, maybe a, a, like an air stone, or depending on how big you have your setup, it's to draw some micro bubbles up there and, and then keep, the, keep the oxygen going, keeping the plant healthy and giving it some, uh, some air to breathe. And then differ to maybe a uh, uh, RDWC, a recircling deep water culture. Um, in my, let's say, uh, situation, I have like a kind of three, three plant uh, setup where I have all the buckets kind of interconnected with uh, PVC tubing. That will give it a nice flow between all, all the same water flowing between the three plants. It will make it so I don't have to refill or maintain individually those plants, those same plants. Um, and to be honest, like, you know, when you're doing like a deep water culture or like, a, you know, something that's all connected, you want to kind of keep to the same kind of like plant or cultivar, uh, just so it doesn't get too, they're not too, in, too different uh, in grow, growth rate or like things you have to kind of like, uh, like, let's say, maybe manipulate the, the different nutrients that you have for a plant. So some, some plants like... Uh, they're, they're very temperamental, you know this, and depending on where they come from, they have different, uh, let's say, uh, means to uptake nutrients. I mean, for the most part, the two biggest differences between the deep water culture and, you know, re recircling is, the, is the, the passing of the water between the tubes. I and mean, it can be anywhere from, you know, simple, like, uh, vinyl tubing, or you can go PVC tubing. I mean, I've seen setups where they have anywhere from in, in, in stick to uh, pipes to like three inches. So um, you can go anywhere from there. To be honest, it, it's not the biggest difference if you have a such smaller setup, but the, the higher flow would be kind of, it will circulate a lot of the nutrients and keep it like not idle. It won't be sitting there and kind of like building up film or anything of this sort. And that's not usually the case with like deep water culture. Usually the water is like fluctuating a lot. <laughs> Got it. And so arguably our DWC is a little bit easier for the regions you mentioned, uh, there's a you know reservoir and things are recirculating through multiple plants, and you really just have that one control versus DWC, kind of like individual buckets, right? And you got to fill up individual buckets and and manage the nutrients for each individual plant. But like you mentioned, it has a downsides for a recirculating system. If you've got all different cultivars in there and they have kind of different nutrient uptake, it can be finicky, right? You can have some plants that are perfectly healthy and others that are deficient. So yeah, there's definitely some pros and cons to both of those methods. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.